Idaho Falls police have finally released the snapshot of Angie Dodge's suspected killer. Angie Dodge was 18 years old when she was found dead in her Idaho Falls home in 1996. Police have yet to find her rapist and killer. Now 20 years later, technology has advanced enough that with the help of DNA experts, police have an image of a potential suspect. KPVI News that works for you reporter Magdala Lusant shows us those images. This is the man Idaho Falls police say may have killed Angie Dodge. In June 1996. An emotional press conference. I want to say this, that we're very empathetic to the Dodge family. Especially Carol. For the loss of her daughter, we continue to look for new ways to identify Angie's killer. Dodge was raped and killed almost 21 years ago. Through the development of technology, Idaho Falls police now have an image of who her suspected killer could be. The goal of this is not identification. There's not going to be only one person in the world that matches those phenotype predictions. The goal is really exclusion. Um, you're looking to exclude people in a suspect list who really do not match these characters. On the left is a picture of the suspect at 25 years old. On the right, him now at 40. Who is this person? Someone has to know him. For Angie's family, it's the minor facial details they're hoping will help close this case. It's, it's, it's difficult for me to distinguish because we can't pay a lot of attention to the hair. We got to pay more attention to the facial features. Of the 100 cases DNA experts in Virginia have worked on, 11 of them have been successful. As for the Dodge family. 21 years ago, a lot of things were overlooked and someone has some information. Reporting in Idaho Falls, Magdala Lusant, KPVI News that works for you. And police have set up a tip line number for people to call. That number is 1-800-927-1239.